Hey YouTube, coming at you with a team that got me to expert rank uh, 2767, Wizcash, Sableye, Shadow Gligar. So I started with Wizcash because I actually went, ran up against it um, in I think the previous Great League team. And man, this thing gets to Scald really fast, right? Mudshot, just super fast charging. Mud Bomb is such, like it just, Wizcash was always borderline. And then once it got Scald, I think it became like super, super strong Pokemon. I actually prefer using like Wizcash over like Swampert at this point. Uh, I just think that it has a little, just the more bulk and a spammier uh, charge move in Mud Bomb compared to like the Earthquake. So Whiskash, really, really strong. Obviously, you are weak to grass, so you need grass cover. Now, I anytime I need to use a Flyer right now, I'm using Gligar. I just think that Gligar provides you the, the just the safety overall, right? Uh, the worst matchup you're going to get is like an Ice, which you can like chip... And, or like a Skarmory as a Flyer Steel, like that's probably the one of the worst ones. Uh, but outside of those two, you're just like, you're okay in like the majority of matchups. And then because I cover them as balanced, like they cover each other's weaknesses, I need a balanced Pokemon. Could use like a Tongue, Sableye. Um, I already kind of talked about how I did a all safe swap team with Polyrath, Gligar, Lickitung before. So put in Sableye as the safe swap. So that is the team. Um, it's one of those where you don't need to leave unless you see a grass. So if you see a grass, you get out. Um, and the good thing about Sableye Gligar is both are safe swaps, right? So Sableye or Gligar can act as safe swaps. Uh, did get some good chip on, I did get some good chip on the Venusaur with, with the wing attack. So that's a good start. At this point, I now know that these shadow wing attacks and getting to the dig can threaten shields. So I think I can um, just like chip a bunch or threaten shields or flip switch. Cause I think that's what Gligar has the ability to do and grab the second shields. And at this point, grabbing the second shield is actually pretty huge. Cause now Sableye is probably my win condition. Uh, I'm going to get to two moves cause Venusaur is half poison. So half poison, so poison takes super effective from ground. Obviously, grass resists ground, uh, so that makes mud bomb neutral. So I get to two mud bombs, so I said you can go back to back here. Because Venusaur has just like well over 50% 50, 50 health and it's loaded with energy. So I really need to chip this to get this low enough that I can just like Shadow Claw down. I get it off, that puts it pretty low, and then I'm going to instant swap because they're not getting out. So I'm just like, I'm not getting farmed down, so let's get out of here. Now, with shield advantage, this is where it gets interesting because this Venusaur is loaded with energy. Uh, so I need to essentially survive this. I can't shield because then the Venusaur will be able to just like take me out. So I'm able to get the second foul playoff. And I think they go for, uh, we both, yeah, we both get taken out at the same time. Uh, I'll get one more claw through. And now they need two moves. And as you're gonna see there, they throw and I get that uh, mud shot in. So that mud shot will register. They are at two frenzies, but that mud shot registers to take them out. So good workaround of what was a bad lead. This is a good lead. Um, so I was like, I was like, why are they staying in? This is such a good lead for me. And then you actually play this out and these X scissors chip quite a lot. So it's actually not as amazing of a lead as I thought it was. It's a good lead. Uh, and I don't get a, I, if I, I don't think I got the attack fall here, which made it a little better for them. Yeah, because like they'll get a second exos up before I get to the scald. Um, so I let this go because I can live it, but it's just like, yeah, you're down in the deep red, right? But I do have a bunch of energy going for the skull just to confirm that it will take it out because I'm not sure if Mud Bomb will um, get to another skull. And that's what I'm talking about. Like this, the skulls are spammy and it's such a good move on Whiskash. So look at that, like take out that, chip this, take it low. It's a shadow, so it was a shadow um, quag. So I did not know if the shadow was gonna run Aqua Tail Mud Bomb or if it was gonna run Mud Bomb Stone Edge. So either way, that's kind of a little risky for Gligar. So I'm gonna come in Sableye. They swap uh, into a Toxpex, which is unfortunate for them because I have two answers for Toxpex, essentially. Uh, this brine would hurt, so I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if I shield up one here. Yeah. 
Brian is a bad move as we, as I went over my talk specs video, but it is still uh, still chips. I was gonna throw events, but you just saw that lag. You should see, you're gonna see the 2767 when my game just actually just like stops. <laughs> like I lose connection. Um, get one off there, get a second one off here. And at this point, once I took two, two shields or take this out, this game is over. Yeah, so back to back there and this game's over despite the game lagging and them getting the Brian through, which they should not have. So great lead here. Uh, Mana Rose. There are a couple things that this team struggles with. And it's mostly flyers. Um, so Mandibus here. I stand because, again, Skull chips. Skull has a chance to lower your attack. And then I can get, like, my Gligar on it. Um, but, like, Mandibus is tough for Wizcash with the Mudshot. And then Sableye with Claw. I went against an Altaria. And, like, Altaria has a pretty good matchup against everything here. Because on like the Wizcash now you can't Wizcash can't threaten Altaria with anything, and the back two don't really have an amazing matchup against Altaria. So Flyers are a bit tough for this team. Uh, I still don't think it's worth running any sort of like Blizzard on Wizcash. I think Mudbomb Scald is the way to go. Uh, shield that up. Because I, I was worried about how low it would put me, and then they could like air lace me. So get one dig off. The question is, does a rock slide do 50% damage neutral on Gligar? The answer is no. Uh, I am loaded with energy. I don't think a Skull is going to take out, and I'm pretty sure two Mud Bombs should take out. Uh, although, looking at that, that's probably not going to take out, quite honestly. they this I don't think this will take out, and I think they're going to get to the Earthquake. But at this point, I think um, it doesn't matter. Like I kind of need to just go with Sableye. Uh, so they do take me out. I'm guessing the Mandibuzz is going to come back in and get one more Snarl here. Or a Whimsicott comes in. So this is interesting, right? Because now I've got Sableye against a Fairy. Uh, but I do have energy. So they come in. Sort of catch. Um, but I kind of needed to dump this anyways. And then I'm going to get to the second Aerial Ace. Which is great. Because I'm going to grab the shield. Which then means it is Claw Return Range. So it just... Can I get to a claw in return before they get to two charge moves? And the answer is like, we must CMP or I win by like one. Um, foul play will not take out, obviously. I do get the return uh, and we'll take this out with a return. And that is why you need to run return on Sableye. Okay, Skeledurge. I have three, an I have basically three answers for Skeledurge. Out comes Wizcash. Um, so just being ahead on energy, I know that's a mud bomb because I was ahead by one on energy. So that's just a mud bomb. So I'll probably throw the skull and then make a decision where I want to go from here, depending on what they do. Because I still have Sableye for it. Um, the attack falls, which means that I'm pretty comfortable just coming in here, getting ahead on energy, chipping a bunch. My opponent, who's this opponent? I forget their name. But they have the Pokemon Regional Championship shirt on. So they won a Pokemon Regional Championship. And I remember winning this matchup. But I remember like tagging this battle as like really well played <laughs> by my opponent. So as you can see, they, if you can see in the background there, they have the Pokemon Regional Championship t-shirt on. Uh, because they won a regional. So they're a very, very strong player. I'm only going to get to one move here unless I bank this. No, uh, maybe I bank it, but like I probably should have just thrown the return there. And now this is my again my best answer. Altarias are tough, flyers are tough, so I gotta just like kind of chip my way through this. Sky Tax is gonna do a lot of damage, uh, so I am and Moonblast can do even more. So I have to shield, uh, thinking that I can survive a Shadow Ball on my Whiskash from the. Um, Skeldurge. So two plus dig. I, I probably could have baited here, quite honestly. I'm trying to get out, and I do eventually get out. Now, can I live? A th uh, yes, I can live one, barely, but I do live. Um, I just go for the mud bomb because I don't know. I I mean, I, they would have been stuck in the animation, but I I think that would have registered before I got to the move. So I have to do that, and then they don't have a move yet, so I get to, <laughs> get to a foul play here. And then I end up, we end up 
clawing and mud shotting each other. Or no, I do claw down before they mud shot me down. So <laughs> quite a quite a match there. Skarmory again. At least the steel wings are resisted here. Mud shots are obviously resisted. Scald's neutral. Um, I guess I get Scald pretty quick, but obviously you're gonna see here it doesn't even do 50% right. So lower the attack, which is huge. This skull, this scald, 50% chance of lowering the attack. I swear this thing hits more than the 67% zap cannon does for registeel now. Like I just find that these lowering attack happen so often. Um end up shielding here. And I think I shield because I see. I'm worried about a fast move, like a, a second dragon in the back. I'm worried about a second fast move Pokemon in the back. Right? You have a Dragonair, which is weak to Ice and Fairy. You have a Steel Wing Skarmory, which is going to destroy it. And then you let your other dragon roam free. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen here. And that is exactly what happens. And now with a shield advantage i have absolutely zero shot in this they just we both don't throw we know what we know this game is over so we both don't throw um because there's no point this it's just fast move damage down lickitung uh lickitung is tricky because it has power whip which sh probably one shots here uh i I get the attack fall. I remember a couple of tongue leads, and I remember one I did not get the attack fall. I still kind of need to respect that power up anyways, and they beat me, so that's unfortunate. I do get a second one off here, and then I think I try and like catch the power whip, because I still really don't want to take a power whip, but two times lowered. Yeah, I just come in immediately. They bank that energy. So this hurts. Um, I remember going for CMP once. I really thought with an eight attack, that I would win. I think it's probably this one. Is it this one? Or do I throw it before? I remember one going for CMP and then like losing on CMP thinking I would win it. Yeah, it's this one. I thought with an eight attack I'd win CMP. Like I obviously had it before, so I should have probably thrown it before, but I really thought I would win CMP there. Uh, what that allows me to do is, is farm down and get head on energy here, which is nice, but yeah, I still probably should have thrown that before. Ligton comes in. Um, I'll let this go. It's just a body slam. And I'm like, okay, clearly they're somewhat weak to this in the back, right? If you're coming in lick a tongue just to throw a body slam, like what do you have in the back? And it is a polyrath. So I'm going to chip a bunch with these mud bombs. The only issue is that these counters are adding up slash they are going to get a ton of energy and the icy wind so they can get one more. So I do get a move off here, which is actually nice because this is going to grab one shield or else they're in claw range. So shield for sure. And now it's, um, they're in claw foul play range. So I'm not worried about resistant move here. I'm worried about a catch on the Lickitung um, coming up here. So I obviously have to shield up this move. They just icy win me, which is the right bait to do. I have to shield. I expect to catch here and I, I'm aware of that. I don't think I can claw down, but I do get enough energy that I'm basically one claw away, right? So able to get like three or four more claws on this on the uh like something there to take this so good match there defense deoxys is good um they play one of two ways they go to 10 energy and throw the psycho boost or um like just bank both moves and then come into something else is essentially how you play defense deoxys if you're in this lead match um so they're gonna bank it uh flyer drag i mean dragon fighter uh so advantage to me and my very very spammy wing attack air lace i will probably shield match yeah i'm gonna match shields because i think i'm just gonna very easily take this match uh, so i'm just gonna match shields here uh try and just time per time smart energy management so they double shield at this point i think it's worth letting go because I can get ahead on Sableye energy. I know that Defense Deoxys is like drawing dead against Sableye. This will chip, but not enough to worth um, worth shielding over. So Defense Deoxys comes in, I'm loaded with energy. If 
Sable, if a lictum comes in, which makes sense, if you have a Deoxys, you probably have an answer to Sableye. I'll chip here, come back here. I know that they're going to Psycho Boost me. They have to, right? I mean, they could theoretically throw a Thunderbolt, but I think they just try for the Psycho Boost. So, shield that, two times lowered attack. Scald, three times lowered attack. Psycho Boost, four times lowered attack. So, I don't need to worry about these counters. I don't need to worry about the Psycho Boost. Um, I am just getting ahead of energy because I'll have a Scald to throw at the Lick Tongue, which I kind of need. I need to chip this way more because I'm also going to have no fast move damage with Shadow, Shadow Claw. So good chip. Another attack fault. This one's I'm talking about. Like 50% hits seem to hit for me like 80% of the time. So there's your second, and that takes you at, like, look how freaking hard this hits, and look how spammy this is. This matchup, I was so frustrated with this matchup. Zero attack. You know, when you do your matchup analysis and you you look at what's what's better to have a zero attack or a higher attack, and the higher attack in the mirror match, right? So they hit me, they lower my attack. So my attack's lowered, their attack's lowered, but they've already thrown first, so that does less damage. They're going to get it off again, and they lower my attack again, and they're going to win CMP. So they they easily take switch here, lowering my attack twice, um, and getting them off both off first, that they have just a significant advantage. So we're going to both get some mud bombs at the same time, but look how low I am compared to them, and they get the move off first. So unfortunate, just IVs coming into play there. Um, they instant swap, which is smart, right? Not to get farmed down, so that's a heads up play. This is, I, not that I wouldn't look for the zero tax moving forward. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to shield this back. Now they win, look for zero tax moving forward. I am definitely, it's on my radar to start looking for like in the Great League if it's not like a significant difference in, um, if it's not a significant difference in. Um, like XLs, like if I go for like a zero, instead of going for a zero attack, I go for like a two attack. Um, if it's not like a significant difference in the XLs and matchup flips, like I've, I've got to imagine that like having a slightly higher attack is just, is just better for a lot of these mirror matches. Um, they make a nice catch on the whisk cash here, which cost me this game. Cause now they're going to get to a move and then they're going to have a move from my Gligar. So a few more battles here. I do have like 20 minutes worth of battles. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll have a team this afternoon. Is a It's a showcase. Um, still appreciate you watching it, but it is a showcase uh, triple Shadow Claw team. Uh, good lead here. I don't have an amazing answer for Dugong, so I'm just going to chip here. And then I'll eventually, well, I'll let them throw and then I'll get into my Sableye. I don't want to get into my Sableye too quick because then they just icy win you and then lower your attack and then you're kind of in trouble so let the first one go through don't shield um and then go into your sable eye so that you can uh it's already chipped enough that you should be able to keep switch pretty easy uh, so yeah this 2767 showcase afternoon is a viewer submitted battle uh triple meme team shadow claw tomorrow morning top great league remix teams and then tomorrow afternoon ultra league teams Great League Remix. I kind of talked about it in my other video being like, what are they fucking doing? Um, this, this is like a whack Great League Remix. Like they don't, they don't ban Lickitung. They don't ban Carbank. Um, just, I haven't even looked at the rankings yet, but Skarmory. Gligar's not even banned. So like Skarmory, Carbank, Mandibuzz, Gligar, Vigoroth. Swampert, Poliwrath, not banned, right? So Lickitung at 13, like, there's all your top meta Pokemon. So it's just going to be a very, <laughs> very condensed top meta, I think. And again, with the Altaria, um, is this the second double dragon team? I know dragons are generally safer this, this, um, actually, I actually do have another team which kind of helped me rise a bit. And it features Charm A9. And it's just between like the Polyrath, these, the dragons, 
like just like the mud boys like charm 9 has pretty good play right now um so that one unfortunately will have to come the next time that great league is around um and i had my own triple water meme team but that'll just be like maybe later if i need some videos uh, but when is the when is Great League on next? So Ultra League and Great League Remix, yep. And then Master League and a Fantasy Cup Great League, which I don't know what that is. And then we loop back to Great League. So you'll see the Charm A9 team probably uh, January 20th. Oh, two weeks of it. And then the Hisui Cup. Um, this is the last match. And the only reason I'm showcasing it is because this is my loss to get to 4-1. to one. <laughs> uh to get to 2767 you're gonna see halfway through this battles that my internet connection just cuts out so i lose like four moves to my opponent so glygar comes in um get some farm i'm tapping i'm tapping um it, it's somewhere around here i think this was the match that it happened So I got a shield here. I'm eventually going to come in Sableye. Oh, I catch on the Sableye. I throw this. They shield. I farm. I catch on the Sableye. So like played everything perfectly. Catch on the Sableye. Kept this. Then I'm pretty sure they had a lantern anyway. So I think it would have been tough. But as you can see here. Oh, oh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Their lantern is already at like. 100 energy <laughs> not 100 but like okay share game cost me my 5-0 i think stable i would have had a tough time against lantern even ch already chipped and i would have lost with glider so i think i probably would have lost this matchup anyways but like come on right anyways this loss was a 4-1 uh to get to 2767 So unlucky with, with, I mean, I think I would have lost anyways, uh, but 2767, there it is. There's your expert rank pretty early in the season. And like the leaderboard was like right around 2,800 too. So that's a pretty solid run uh, with this team to get to that. Anyways, that is it. So stay tuned this afternoon for a showcase and then tomorrow we'll do top teams. Anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.